Okay, so here's a little guide of how to connect your plotter to your computer. This is a Roland CM24. It's quite an old machine. Uh, a lot of these are for sale now, so if you get one of these and you're connecting it to your computer and it's not working, um, here's how to get it working, basically. So what you want to do is make sure your program's correctly installed on your computer. Make sure your computer is correctly connected to your plotter um, and ensure there's power to the plotter obviously. Make sure the plotter actually works, use the test function, make sure the head moves and everything else so you're eradicating a fault in the machine. It's just the, the program. So anyway, on the side of the machine you have your settings. Uh, this will be from 1 to 5. You can see here at the bottom there are some flip switches. They're numbered as well underneath. Um, what I'd recommend doing is ensuring all of these are down um, and this will put them in the off position or to the left hand position. But you'll see here that the it's got the board rate, the parity, the other parity, data bit and uh, the stop bit. Okay. So what you want to do is open your program I'm using WinPC Sign. Uh, I think it's an American program. So you open your program and then you want to open a new page. Then on here you want to put your page size, which is completely up to however big it is, but the height will always be under 24 inches or 600 millimeters. So open a new page, let's give you your page. All right. At the top you will see all your your page settings, uh, go over to setting, then plotter codes, ok this will bring you to a screen similar to this, uh, setup plotters, active plotters, in here you want the name of the plotter which is a Roland CM24, so we'll find that on this list here, uh, Roland CM24 CAM1 So our machine, add it to the list before you press OK and this will come up in this box here Down in your port this machine is connected with a parallel port um, so I know it's going to be one of these LPTs so I'll select number 1 because I already know it's number 1 but you may have to go through the list um, to find the correct one Here's your board rate, this has to match up with the settings on the machine. So we go into this, there's 4800 and 9600, the same as on the machine. It's selected to 9600, so we'll select it to that. Come up to your communication and your parameters. In here you'll have your data bits, match these with the machine, that's on 8, the machine's on 8, stop bits is on 1, the machine's on 1, uh, parity none same as the machine I don't know what this means and I don't know what these settings are but take them down for reference select OK accept and save so now you want to create a test cut so all I would do is just draw any shape whatsoever quite small in the lower left hand corner and at the top of the page or at this page you want to find your cut button select that okay so that will bring you to the cut and control panel just make sure your machine is correctly displayed at the top here there are some options in here these are all to do with the cutting uh, not the communication of the computer and the machine so these are if your machine's running and it's cutting poorly then in here is where you need to sort that out uh, but it's important to know the knife offset should be at zero uh, because it's already set on the machine. So then you want to this button here. This just ensures you've got enough material in your machine. It will quickly run the length of the job uh, before you do any cuts. So quickly give that a click. The machine started up. Then hit start. and that's working now.
so I know all my settings are correct. Um, but like I say, if you if we just do it on here quickly, go to settings, plot of codes. Uh, down here, if the port is incorrect, so if we set that to number two, accept and save. Then if we go back up to the cut and control panel and we create a test cut, so we hit that button, the feed button that feeds your job, it doesn't do anything, uh, the machine doesn't start up, um, and it's almost gone into a bit of a fault mode now. So we know that's not working. Let's see if it sorts itself out. Hmm. Okay, so sorry about that. I had to restart the program because it just become unresponsive. That's what you find as well. If it's on the wrong port, that may happen and you'll just be pulling your hair out. So restart your program, go back to your settings, plot a code. Ensure you're on. Oh, ensure you've got the right port. Accept and save it. Uh, create another test cut. I've done another little circle there. So come up here. Create a cut. Ensure it'll run again. The machine starts up. And then. There we go. So just on the machine, what you want to do is load your media, press setup machine will start you find your point then you want to hit that button on the program and that will run the length of the program hit start and that's your test cut complete okay so I hope this video was helpful uh, let us know in the comments below uh, if you're still having issues setting up your machine uh, let us know and I'll do what I can to help. Thank you.